Om Shanti. Welcome. We are here with 13th of September's Body Blessing. Supreme Father wants us to be safe from the iron age vibration. The world around us, the vibrations around us of human beings, of even of the five elements, are totally getting degraded day by day. People are getting more and more aggressive, jealous, greedy, and they are not able to have control over their emotions, have control over their behaviors, over their character, and it is that's why getting downgraded. So God says you have to save, you have to be safe, and you have to save yourself from these vibrations. So God says, may you become a self-sovereign. That means have control over your own thoughts, your own words, and your own actions. A master of yourself. Who, amidst any kind of situation, can be firm, can be strong, and stay safe from iron-aged vibrations while in the midst of them. The physical senses of a self-sovereign. The physical senses of a self-sovereign. That means a soul who is in control of these physical senses. A master of yourself are never attracted by anyone. That means they won't have any form of attraction to any person, any thing, any person's personality. They won't be getting attracted to them, but they will be learning something from them. That means they don't become a fan of somebody, but they learn some quality from them. For he remains constantly attracted to the one Father. So you are not attracted to any human being. You are attracted to the only one Creator, the one Father, the one Liberator. Because he only has those pure qualities. Other human beings will have qualities, but they will have a mix of ego in that. And that's why you can either pick up ego or you can pick up the quality. So we have to be very, very careful about it. Let there not be any attraction to any person or any object. And that is how a yogi lives. Such self-sovereigns are tapasvis who remain constantly safe while in the midst of the iron age atmosphere of swans and stalks. So in this iron age, there are swans also who are pure beings and there are stalks also. Those who have got negative attitude, negative vibrations, negative feelings. And swans are those who have got positive attitude, positive vibrations, positive thoughts. Worldly vibrations do not attract them at all. Worldly vibrations mean anything in the world which is going to attract them through their five senses. It's not going to happen. They won't be highly excited about it. They won't be excited about getting things in their life. Uh, getting material things or collecting things in their life or knowing the who's and who's in the world and uh, getting the ego boosted that I know this person, I know that person they won't be doing all that worldly vibrations do not attract them at all all of their complaints have finished that means they won't be complaining about I don't have this, I don't want, I don't get this that person doesn't give me any attraction, any kind of attention or that person doesn't uh, call me or pay me any heed or they don't respect me they don't have any complaints like this because they don't want anything from the world they are getting everything from the creator the father through meditation so they are content they are complete within and they are strong and powerful to make decisions in life that's what we live in Pramakumaris you too can come over and learn and learn to get this attitude in a very pure and positive way but for that one needs to know the self and one needs to know the creator of the self. And then connection or meditation with the creator is going to help you to bring about this attitude. It cannot be faked. As simple as that. Because the world teaches us to fake the attitude. But it has to come from within. It is a pure and powerful attitude. A fearless attitude. And that's what God teaches us. To be fearless like him. To not have any kind of hatred or any disparity amongst other human beings. And that's the most powerful sense of being. One can be in. I'm sure.